Okay. Greetings, everyone. This is First Centurion, 753, with the next episode of Victoria 2. Uh, playing as the USCA, United States of Central America. We are uh, at war with Chile right now, the Chilean conquest, hopefully. And right now, our only war goal is. Uh, is the conquest of Los Rijos. Los Rijos. Uh, and this is a war against Chile and their allies Paraguay and Uruguay. And we have already occupied one region here, which has iron, one province of the region. And there's also more iron there. Grain, grain. I don't think I'll be able to take Santiago unless I declare total conquest against Chile so but I wouldn't mind adding war goals to get the Chilean uh, at to come if I said that right uh, which has wool and sulfur very important sulfur and also puts us next to put a which originally was a silver mine which has got grains I don't know why they don't have precious precious metals is this the right put a is there another put a somewhere am I talking about the right one I don't know if I'm talking about the right one. Is there one in Central America? Oh man, I probably just made a doofus of myself. No, yeah, I don't know. So let's see, we have um, a battle raging here. Did I just see Chilean forces in our mainland? Yeah! How did they get those little jerks? They have landed. Let's see, we got. Looks like three transports. What do I have here? Two transports. Ah, oh, wow. They snuck in there. Little jerks. Where's my force? I got my main fleet here. Can I dispatch a squadron north to deal with them? Man of war? And a frigate, maybe? Their main fleet is here. Eight capital ships. And now I have five. Now I don't think I want to. Wow. Are they, would they out uh, number us? Do we need to build ships? Is our navy not that strong? Not as strong as I thought it was, huh? Well, let's go ahead and get another ironclad. Iron man, ironclad. Wait a minute. Not one ironclads because they have better uh, colonial points. I was thinking, should I do a monitor? Monitor is available. They both cost the same. Hull, attack, max speed. Looks like attack is better for ironclad. And I also think they have a better firing range. I think they give you more uh, naval points and colonial points as well. I'm not sure if they give you both, but one of them they definitely do. I know that. So those are factors. Not that colonial points really matter that much anymore because I think we colonized everything we possibly could, right? There's no more colonies out here. Sorry, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm kind of... Refreshing myself as well as refreshing everybody else. What is this? No, that's not that's taken. United Kingdom. Yeah, it looks like everything is taken. Colonies taken. Alright. We can have some good stuff out here though. Central American Malaysia. Central American Northern Borneo. Whatever that is. I can. Oh, look at that Easter Island. Ecuador. Okay, so let's press play. I'm building an ironclad that should hopefully deal with those transports if they're still around. Oh, I need to send troops then to deal with them. Too. Eight troops here. Is there any uh, recruitment that can be done? There it is. Nope, that's not all. Build an army. Let's get some artillery. Already got artillery. We're gonna have a lot of artillery. And let's throw in some dragoons. This will be our main base. We'll deal with this army pretty easily. Looks like they're all uh, infantry there. Right? Yeah, we have three infantry. We won a battle. We're about to occupy. I'm a little nervous about this actually. I doubt they have uh, ironclads. 
We are exporting tropical wood. Look at that. Tropical wood is one of our top products. Dominating the tropical wood market. I wonder if we have. Uh, let's go check that out. Actually. All right. What do we just get? We just got a technology. Um, reinforcements and uh, yeah, reinforcements good. Experience good. What do I have here? I can't get any more prestige points here. Where am I as far? I gotta check my overall because I am secondary power, and the goal is really just to maintain secondary power stats. I don't know if I want to be a great power and get entangled in these crises, but I have been playing a series as Portugal, the very weak military, and not as much. Uh, our military's not bad because I built up a big navy, but army's pretty weak compared to other countries. Not that it matters, because most of your interests of Portugal are dealing with uh, colonial uh, entanglements. If you you want to avoid the European entanglements, and that's a big challenge, especially you know avoiding the crises and stuff like that. Um, maybe I could do that with Central America. I mean, let's see here, they're twentieth in military power, industry is sixteenth, prestige is ninth. Yeah, I don't know. The big problem with the USCA is that it doesn't have manpower. Much weaker. Portugal doesn't have manpower either, but ah, uh, my computer's running again. I tried to turn my computer off, and I apologize because I hear the computer running in the videos now, and I guess it's just a really old computer and I need to get a new one. I was hoping I'd go through this without uh, that happening. It was just sounding really good for a while there, but anyways, what was I saying? No manpower. Manpower for Portugal, I got up to like, I think the 90s. 90 possible brigades. So, but I don't know if I'll ever get this up there. 1898 in Portugal I'm in the 1920s anyways I kind of went on a rant there sorry uh, we could get another national focus but we don't have enough population for the national focus so that's kind of moot point there although this one will help suppress a lot of uh, movements and rebellions not that we have too many there get rid of that Ecuadorian one okay what's a better tech Industry, chemistry would be good because no, I thought it would increase population. Steel railroad could be good for investment. We have 175,000. We're at war right now, though. Speaking of which, being at war, huh? I should probably do something with that. Let's go ahead and get some uh, iron breached. Or what about this? Nah. Nah. Oh. All right, let's get it. Iron breach load artillery. I'll strengthen our army, and I wanted to check out where I am as far as secondary power stats. We are 14th. Two Sicilies is the last of the secondary powers. We have 246 points. Two Sicilies have 186. So 60 points ahead of them. Uh, not as far as ahead of Brazil. Spain, 293. A little far from Spain. Netherlands. We've got some work to do. I should just check out industry real quick. Four projects coming in. Cement factory. Let's go ahead and build that. Booyah. Build the... Oh, I don't have any... Oh, that was... I thought that was 175000 That's $175. Wow. Okay, maybe I should take a loan. Oh my god, I can't believe that. $28,000 loan. Booyah. Good lord. Gotta cut some spending here. <laughs> Can I max this out? Not much. Really doesn't help at all. Jesus. Look at these subsidies. Subsidizing here. They have no resources. They die. Ugh. Twenty eight thousand. Let's see how long we can last. So, in that case, I might not be going for an actual war goal against them, because I need to recover. Crud.
exactly the right strategy there. You don't want to occupy that because you don't want to force that fleet out. Keep the blockade going. We'll keep transports nearby. Just recruited two more military units. I don't know how many we're going to get them out. Let's see that. Uh... All right, we're about to defeat the domestic Chilean army. And 5% gain there. Let's speed it up. Victory. March these guys there. Where are they headed? There's still 525 remaining now. Maybe I split this in half. Finish them. They can catch them. Finish off the army. 23% progress in occupation there. Uh, they're about to occupy a province on me. I've got recruits. I hate that noise. i got to get a new computer. Mining 50%. Oh, yeah. Explosive production. Booyah. Boom. Yeah. Sorry, that was bad. That was really bad. Really bad joke there. 37% occupation. There we go. Chilean forces have been defeated. Let's finish off this occupation and then we'll move our way down. Finish off the rest. 49%. 52%. Very good. Mm, mechanical precision saw. 10% uh, lumber or timber? What's this? Who's oh oh Uruguay is occupying Ecuador? Where's my Ecuadorian forces? I thought that was an Ecuadorian army. Uruguay throwing their hat into the ring. You're going down, sucker. Let's get some more transports, eh? All right, let's get another sea transport here. Steam transport, sorry. Let's get two of those. December, I think we can probably get three of these, actually. Those are really quick, those steam transports. Cotton and wool production are up. Power loom. There we go. Connect there. There's our iron breech loading artillery. What about Navy? Supply range could be helpful. Those are pretty far back, huh? I like morale, though. Let's go with this. We're going to be fighting more on land for now. Then we'll go with Navy Technologies after that. Alright, our forces are now combined, and we're going to defeat the first Chilean army. Oh, damn it. Forgot about that. Damn it. Can we get any other ships? A frigate? What is, what is here? What are they here? Those are clipper transports. So let's go ahead and build a frigate here. Maybe two frigates. Should be enough to take out those clipper transports. No frigates here, right? They're steamers. How's our occupation looking? We've occupied another province, move south. How's our money? 15,000. We are losing money quickly. And we're not near enough to another war goal. We're going to be content with just this one, I think. We may have to liberate the uh, Ecuadorians. Let's go. Uh, 
All right, so I should destroy them. Oh, yes. That's, our, that's there. Looks like we saved the ship. It's good. We won the battle there. Learn our lesson. Do not move that ship. Wait for the others. Iron for that and two frigates. Ironclad will probably be first. Lose war exhaustion. Where is the war exhaustion on this? I don't even know where it is. But it sounds like that's a good idea. Or 5% jingoism. Ooh. I like that. Oh, wait a minute. Yes! We can now add a war goal. Ooh! Can I borrow more money? Yes. Do it. We're not really losing that much money either. Look at that. Industrial subsidies are down. Is that accurate? Yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's time for another war goal. The danger in this is the United States getting involved. That'll give us sulfur. 11 infamy points. That'll put us at uh, 19. That'll probably be it. Proceed. Yep. Could do humiliation. Wait a minute. the wait. All right. That's awesome. A lot of industrial discoveries there. Making things more finch. All right, let's finish them off here. Looks like they've got rebels. Anarcho-liberal rebels. And ideally, you think this entire army would fit on that, right? Nine. Nine should be twenty-seven. Twenty-seven thousand. Ah, stupid computer. I was gonna film a bunch of these in a row, but maybe not. Northrop power loom, cotton. Wool, silk, and fabric. Booyah. Oh, there's another one down there. Crap. Take it easy, computer. Wow, that was a long one. I might film one more episode because I'm coming to the end of this episode. It's sounding so much better this morning. All right, we now have our iron to add. Let's sink these suckers. Oh yeah, that was easy. Wiped them out very quickly. All right, let's pull everyone into port. Oh, we can't pull them into port. Pull them into port there. Then after occupation, then another frigate. I'll leave this for the coast. Defend the coast if we want any other. Actually, I could use an extra exploit. We'll leave one to defend the coast. One will uh, escort the steamers with the ironclad. Pull them in the port. That'll be quicker. Our decision making, booyah! Let's do a little bit of this. I want naval organization. Yeah, and then maybe naval statistics. We're upgrading our military now. We are getting entangled in some conflicts. Let's drop them off right there into the port, and they should wipe them out. And then we'll get clear off uh, any Ecuadorian and. Occupations. It's good, we won. Come into port there. Load onto ships and let's sail north. Right there is good enough because we're gonna 
Atifagasta? I probably said that wrong. Atifagasta? Anaf Antifagasta? Anto. Okay. Should be quick. I don't have any uh, engineers with me. Eighteen percent. Chilean forces have arrived. They've returned. Twenty-nine percent. Four percent. They're moving very slowly. Thirty-seven. Yeah, we'll get this occupied before they even. We'll get this province occupied before they even get close to liberating that one. Question is, will we be able will we be able to send a, a relief force down here? Looks so like we're making cash again. Let's uh, pay off some loans. Drop like eleven grand there. Reduced interest rates, increased income. Eighty-one percent. Oh, that's twenty minutes. I'm gonna put an end here. Thank you for watching. Oh, I like that one. Fifty percent mining outputs in the machine tools. That's a nice discovery. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the episode and series. Enjoy the episodes and enjoying the series. If so, please leave a like, hit the bell button, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, you can also support me on Patreon down below. I haven't had anyone. <laughs> I lost all my patrons, uh, which is okay because we're in a pandemic. I understand that, but uh, it would be nice to. I could use a few bucks too. It's summer and I'm not getting paid, but. No worries. Uh, enjoy the videos, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.